unfortunately, there's nobody hiring. One of the many faces behind Oklahoma's oil price crisis. Workers left with very little after mass layoffs and even companies shutting down entirely. KSU's Ariel Reshef shows us the impact that the plummeting oil prices are having on Oklahomans. I'm trying to. Prima at 38, try to restart my career. It's nerve wracking. Autumn White worked for a small oil and gas company for 10 and a half years. In September, she became one of more than 10,000 Oklahomans laid off because of the falling price of crude. We were told the next day was our last day. Whenever you're the prime income for your family, it's, it's a big shock. Both emotionally, Financially, what has this meant for you and your husband, for your family? Um, it means watching every dime that goes out. From a steady job as assistant geologist to clipping coupons. My position is not a position that anybody's hiring for. Autumn now spending hours searching for jobs in a market where they simply don't exist. What's your biggest fear in this? That I'm not going to be able to find another job that can support my family. I'm terrified of losing my house. <laughs> Smaller companies and contractors hit hardest by low oil prices, but the state's biggest corporations feeling a major pinch. Chesapeake letting go of 750 workers after its stock prices fell more than 20% in one year. Devon reporting a third quarter loss of $3.5 billion. What gives you hope? My animals. <laughs> my dogs, my two dogs. Like so many Oklahomans, Autumn holding on to what's important and holding out hope that the oil market turns around. Ariel Reshef, KOCO, 5 News.